Hey, what's poppin' YouTube? YouTube is good. Well, anyhow, I am exhausted. I am tired. I'm beat. So yesterday, well, Friday, you know, with the help of uh, Fam Eric, he came over. And uh, he helped me load up the load up my trailer to go to Meadowlands yesterday. I did very well yesterday. Um, I am exhausted though, but I did pretty good. And uh, picked up some stuff from my boy Dion. I think one or two other people, maybe I don't even remember. And then from there, uh, today I was so exhausted from yesterday. I woke up late. And I, I decided last minute to say, F it, let me, let me just go down and see my G.I. Joe lady. Um, so I went down to Columbus, and I think when I was getting toward exit 8 and or 7A, start the rain. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Rain was coming down on 95. And I was going to, you know, get off and say, F it, let me just go back. But... You know, Columbus is um, one town over from Mansfield. It's like in Springfield. So the weather down there is a little weird because it can rain. It could be pouring in one area and not the other at all. So when I got off of um, 95 at, at, at exit, I guess, well, whatever, and uh, I got on uh, Route 2, I think it's 208 or 203, but whatever the fuck it is, I, um, as soon as I got off, it was raining pretty heavy for about the first mile, mile and a half. And I'm like, fuck. And I started to make a U-turn again and say, fuck it, I'm just gonna come up here. But I was like, you know what? I'm already an hour in, fuck it. I might as well just go. It's gonna, it's gonna be poured in. I'll go inside and I'll pick up some cosmetics or something, whatever. Um, so as soon as I got about, uh, maybe about, I don't know. I, I, I can't even think of it, but anyway. It, um, I, I, the roads were extremely dry and I was like oh shit it's not even raining it's kind of sunny so I was happy I didn't turn around those two times uh, make a long story short I did see my G.I. Joe lady got a ton of shit from her um, picked up a couple of other items from other individuals um, like her, Roy um, I think that's about it ugh Oh, and, and this young lady and her father. I picked up a couple of comics from them and some figures that I couldn't believe they sold for only a dollar. So, let's get to it. <laughs> <clears throat> so, yesterday, you know, I had toys too. And fam Eric brought some shit out. And, you know, my boy Dion, he was like, yo, I got a whole bunch of toys, shit you might like. But everything he had was, like, damaged. Um... Some people did get some other stuff. He, he claims he has more. I don't know, but whatever. Um, so I did get this. Um, it is uh, beat up, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm not going to keep it, though. I'll probably wind up selling it. You got here uh, Rockets, um, Scotty Pippen. When he joined the Houston Rockets. I mean, this thing's already damaged, so I can't damage it no more. At least the box. Then I also got this Collector Club. Uh, well, it's not a Collector Club. Who made this again? Starting lineup, right? Yeah. The starting lineup, um, 97 Timeless Legends. Um, Muhammad Ali. I think I have this one. But this is in a box. Even though the box is beat to shit. The box is still in better condition than this. I mean, than the other one. The, the Scotty Pippen I showed you. <laughs> Just throwing it everywhere, right? And also there's this. This I was very excited about. And can you believe somebody had this priced at $39? This is a, a 1-4 scale NECA. Uh, 2006. G-O-A-T Inc. So, yeah. So this is old school NECA. Uh, the box is beat to shit. So it says here, February 2000. I mean, um, February 25th, 1964, Miami Beach, Florida, heavyweight title bout clashes Clay versus Sonny Liston. Clay wins in sixth round to become the world heavyweight champion. 
Um, so yeah, so you have this, and again, this is uh, Ali, but Clashes Clay because he was still called Cassius Clay when he uh, beat this dude for the title. And I think once he became champion, that's when they. I think that's when he met. I mean, I I, I don't really want to speak on that because people do seem to get really upset when it comes to religion and you quoting people. Especially people that people love, so I'm just gonna keep that to myself. Cause I'll be lying if I said I remember what he said and all that. I don't. I wasn't there. All right. So outside of that, Dion put everything in this bag. He put everything in this bag, or oh, everything he could. And a guy across from me, uh, brother I know. I mean I don't know him, know him, but you know. Hold on. I'm about to keep from breaking. This Gundam that I'm, that I'm running over. All right, so I also got this from Dion as well. This is, I mean, you know, I ain't gonna say it, but you know, this is a, a Hulk from that horrible Ang Lee movie. I told everybody that movie was gonna be garbage. I said, you know, let the Chinese guy stick with his kung fu movies. He shouldn't get into uh, anime. I'm sorry, but it is what it is, and. I felt what I felt. I said what I said. A lot of people didn't like what I said, but I thought I was dead on, and it was because that fucking Hulk movie was the worst. Um, this I got from the dude uh, across from me. Um, okay, I took the game out. This is the uh, the Wii Mini. He, he put it with Mario Kart. I did bring this up here to hook it up. So when I, you know, if when and if I feel like playing games up here, I can. Forty five bucks. I didn't buy it to resell it. Dion threw this in because I did not want this piece. But you know, my son Mike Jr. He actually got me a twelve inch version of this. Um, but Dion must do this in there. Not my cup of tea. Older I get, the less and less I like Michael Jordan. Let's see, what else is in here? He must have threw this in here too, because this is not mine either. I never I, I never put um X-Men Uno, <laughs> Uno cards in here. Oh my gosh. Fucking Dion's crazy. So let's see. I did put this here. This, this. This old um, duck, the duck car. We got a generation or G2. Um, I forgot what this is, but it is a G2 Transformer. I put that there. You got this crappy transforming Optimus Prime. I also put that in there. So this is going downstairs. And when I told you guys that I uh, I did it, I did Matchbox. These are the match boxes, or oh, this is actually, I think, new. Wait, let me see what year, because this. Well, anyway, he has some. These are what I used to collect. Whenever you hear me say before G.I. Joe, I, it was match box. They all had to be in these boxes. Um, This is an ambulance that was in there. It has wear to it. And you have here another vehicle. It looks like a fire, fire engine. These are the only two that I saw that actually had cars in there. I mean, I'm not too sure. Well, it says snorkel fire engine, and this does say ambulance. So I guess these are the real uh, cars for these boxes. So, yep, this is what I used to be into. I can't be too long because I got my fucking cousin coming over here. I don't really feel that good. I just started to feel a little funny today uh, for some reason. Ever since I've been on that insulin, I've been feeling like that. So you got these two in here. But they did tell me that uh, I was going to feel a little weird. It was going to take time for my body to adjust to to taking, uh, whatever, to taking shots. Oh, no. All right, so we got that crap. Um... So that was basically everything yesterday. I don't think I... Oh, wait. I did get kombucha yesterday. Hold on. I think these are them.
And I got this guy yesterday as well. I did pick this up for a dollar. Uh, Mexicans that oh that's normally always there. They had this guy and I was asking him how much and he's at a dollar. So I don't think they knew it was GI Joe, but I think it is GI Joe. I think it's a Cobra Ninja or something like that. So I picked that up for a buck. Then I got these. Um, I was trying to get Eric to go back over. He was only like four spots away from us. Um, he was gonna sell me all the comics he had for two hundred and twenty bucks. I was trying to get Eric's attention, but he didn't want to leave. And then, you know, and then more customers start coming, and one thing led to another, to another, to another. So here you got the Incredible Hulk number four twenty one. We got uh, one oh one, you know, one oh seven, World War Hulk fighting Hercules. Um, he gave me these for like two dollars. Then you got True Believer Star Wars number double oh one. Then here we got classic Star Wars number 19. We got this Venom Enemy Within part one. I'm guessing there's a part two. Let's see, there's part one. It's a pretty decent book. And people were going through his comics all morning. I just didn't get a chance to go to go over there. But you know, like most people, you know, until you get to know them, some people can't be a little standoffish and assholeish, but you know, until you get to know them, you don't. Um, so here it looks like we have all three. So it looks like we have two and three, as well as one. So those are definitely keepers. And here it says number one and a two issue limited series. X-Men and Alpha Flight number one. So I'm pretty sure there's two here. Yeah, I figured that. So you got one and two. I, I keep mini series sets. Then here we got what if Spider-Man had kept six his six arms, excuse me. So there's a there's a whole bunch of what if series here, but these books look like they've been through shit. So we have number 42. 43 with Wolverine, 44 with Punisher, what if Venom had possessed the Punisher, number 46, what if Cable had destroyed X-Men, uh, then we got Magneto took over the USA, number 47, then we have Doom became Sorcerer Supreme, number 52, and then number 53, what if, which has the Watcher on it, these books are not in the best condition. Not in the worst, neither. Then last but not least, we have Dead Double Fall from Grace Chapter 4. Guest starring Venom. So we have, I'm pretty sure you have number 323 through, or, or, or maybe I should say number 319 to 323. Maybe, it, maybe it's the whole, um, all of it in here. So yeah, I'm gonna put this in here carefully because this is all going downstairs. Um, and then we're gonna get to the GI Joe lady stuff. But I gotta write all that stuff down, so I'll get to that. I'll, I'll, I'll get to that last. This I'm going to put over here in this corner. Wait a minute, didn't I have comic books from that girl, her father, or do I have them down here? No, I have them in one of these bags. I know I separated them, because there's only four books. Yeah, there they are. So, these books here, along with this bag, I paid about $25 for all this. So... Here we have um, ID, IDW, we got Transformers, Robots in Disguise, number two. And we have two different, we have, a, I think, a, see, I, don't, I don't know which covers they are, but I have two different covers of um, number one. So, and then this book was a $2 book. All these were $3, I mean, well, a dollar each, making it three. And this one he had in a $2 book. This is the only book that he had in a $2 bin that I thought was all right. He had another Batman book, but it was 
too beat up and it wasn't a key issue, so I didn't take it. I took this one because I like the way it looked. Um, it says, in this game, Batman, the winner is death. And it says, this sporting death. So you got a hockey player with a poison mask on, or whatever, and you got Batman. This is how you could tell how crappy shit was, because back then they had nobody to fight people like him and, and Superman, so they were just making up any fucking thing. Yo, man, this, yeah, yeah, I went to the I went to the uh, the doubles game yesterday, so all right, yeah, let, let's do that. So let's get to these. I mean, it's not spectacular in here. Oh yeah, I had to, I forgot I had that. Oh yeah, I, I did get these. Let me put these to the side because these I got from Roy, and I want to show you guys these in a sec. So here you got this uh, guy here. He was a everything in his bag was a dollar each. Every figure. There's only one figure that has no hands. You'll see that in a second. You got this Marvel Legend. I am Patriot. I don't know who this is, but I know Fam Eric. No, he did say who it was. I just don't remember. We got this Wonder Woman. She's a. Uh, I think she's more of a. I think she's um. The DC. I think she is Mattel, but I think she's like, right before McFarlane took over. Back when. That was back when Mattel started to do real crappy figures when a lot of people did not like their ver their multiverse. But she is a multiverse Wonder Woman, but this is more of a comic one. But for a buck, you can't go wrong. Then you got this big guy. I forgot who um, Fam Eric said these were from. Um, he's a really cool looking one. Fortnite, I think. That's what it was, I think. Then you got this... Uh, Iron Man. He said this is the Fortnite version of uh, Snake Eyes, but I'm gonna put this Snake Eyes in with the other thing to make that uh that what's it called thing that I'm making with uh Ray Park, even though that is not the GI Joe Snake Eyes he portrayed, but doesn't matter to me. And you got this Iron Man, and all, again, all, all this stuff was a dollar. Then you have this other Iron Man. And we got this one here. Oh. There's another Fortnite figure. And I don't know if this is a Fortnite or not. This is a Marvel Select movie um, Thor. You got some weapons in here too that may go to some of these guys. You got Valkyrie, played by the same actress who played um, the wife of Apollo Creed's son and and Creed. Uh, this is the only Toy Biz. This is Toy Biz Electra. And then last but not least, we have the raw the the uh, Ragnarok, Thor Ragnarok. This, I think, is also Marvel Select, but of course, he has no hands. So, I paid only a dollar for all these each. So, that was a steal. You know what I mean? The girl said, I think it was 16 of them. She said, give me 16. I said, nah, here, just keep it 20. And she had a, this nasty look in her, she had this nasty look in her face, like, like, why is this nigga giving me money? Like, yeah, some, some people, you can't just, you can't just help, man. Some people don't want the help or, I don't know. For whatever reason, I don't really give a shit, but whatever. And then these I got from Roy. These Roy, he wanted, he wanted, it was these, some He-Man figures and other stuff. He wanted $100 for the whole thing. I thought he was fucking out of his mind. But, ironically, he wound up just giving me all these for $5 each, which I was like, wait a minute. This is the best shit he had. He had some old cars that were garbage and in, zip, in Ziploc bags. And he had about maybe eight or nine He-Man figures. They were all fucked up and not in good condition at all. And he wanted a hundred for all those Annie's. So I don't know. So when he, I thought he was gonna say ten dollars each on these. So he was like, uh, yeah, five dollars each. And I'm like, oh shit. Except for the uh, the DC 
figures, which I think are Sergeant Savage. Um, so that bag he went at ten dollars for because it was three of them. Everybody else was a dollar. I mean, five dollars each. So you got Sea Spray for a buck. You got um, two pieces of Devastator. You got um, Scavenger. Then you got, I think, Long Haul, right? Is this Long Haul? Yeah. And you got Long Haul. I mean, those are like 20 bucks each. 15 20 dollars each right there. And this one, um, Fam Eric won. No, no, is this? No, Sea Spray he won, I think. It wasn't Brawl. It wasn't another one here. Yeah, it was Sea Spray. So he won Sea Spray. Um, then you have Brawn. I always call Braun Brawl for some reason. This is the bag of the, um, I think this is Sergeant Reich. I'm going to look these up real quick. Then you have Defensor's um, uh, motorcycle guy, Groove. I might need this one because, I again, all the uh, combiners, I like to have them all in combiner, combiner mode, alt mode, which is vehicle, cool, and then in robot mode. So I might need that one. This one, somebody put Dukes of Hazard Police, which doesn't make any sense because he's not a police officer, and I don't think he's from the Dukes of Hazard. Uh, I could be wrong. Then this one says 1984 Mattel Jace. I don't know what. It, maybe he's Star Starcom, but still no. Not a bad price for all this crap. All right, so let's look these dudes up and see. Because somebody just wrote DC. So I'm thinking they wrote DC and they're military figures. They have to be um, Sergeant Savage. So let's see. Come on, fucking piece of shit. I hate when this stupid fucking... Uh, Dumbass um, fingerprint shit don't work. I, I mean, I, I, I ain't a front, y'all. I really hate this fucking phone. I'm starting not to like these fucking um, Samsung phones. There's always something with these fucking pieces of shit. So, yeah, this is Sergeant Rock. So, here's a Sergeant Rock figure. Let me see which one he is. Remco. So there's a couple of different Sergeant Rock figures. He's only worth like eight bucks. So I guess Roy and his wife looked this shit up. Here's another one. Let's see who this one is. Sergeant Rock Ramco. DC Comics Rim Cole. Sergeant Rock Marksman. He's actually like 14 bucks, but this one is different. No, it's not. It must be a different one. Yep. Marksman, 1982. So he's like 15 bucks. Let's see who this one is. So, I mean, obviously, I know they're all Sergeant Rock. I kind of figure when the person put DC on it, but I, I can't find that Dukes of Hazard guy. This might be Sergeant Rock himself. No, it says Marksman, so he must be, I don't know. It's like eight bucks. Okay. So they're like eight bucks. That one guy's fourteen, the other two are eight. So the fourteen dollar ones like I got for free basically. Let me see who let me see who you are anyway. You should be a GI Joe. Two thousand five Hasbro version one shot or Cobra Cobra Ninja Shadow Shadow Strike. What the fuck kind of name is that for somebody? That's his name, Shadow Strike. So his name is Shadow Strike. Now, this guy was giving me trouble earlier when I was looking him up. I couldn't find anything on him. So, if he is a Dukes of Hazard figure, then yay to me. If he's not, 
hopefully he's worth 10 bucks. Because at first I thought he was one of those family guys. He could be. Maybe he's, I mean, but he got like a flotation thing on. So it's weird. And I can't, yep, yeah, I can't find him. I cannot find this guy. They're showing TIE fighters and stuff like that. He's definitely not a TIE fighter. I'm going to have to do some independent research on him. He's not a Fisher-Price guy because of the arm. Yeah, maybe somebody out. Maybe one of you guys out there know. Because somebody was telling me maybe he is a Dukes that has a guy, but I, I, I don't see the flotation vest. I mean, he does have a helmet like he's probably one of the dudes that has a racers, but I don't think they made a dudes that has, I don't think they made any, like, bad guys or anybody or other cars for the three-inch three inch, for the three inch line. So I, I don't know where this guy is from because I, I did the same thing earlier. I was looking it up through Google and through uh, eBay, and they kept showing Star Wars figures. See, this one says action figure proto. Porta play military. Ventures Porto play military. One action, one pilot. Yeah, I don't think he's from Dusa, has it? He must be one of those whatever pilot guys. Because everything he's not coming up under. Under that, and I don't have. I had magnifying glasses. I can't find none of them, so I have no idea where to look it up. Cause I could barely see now, let alone something this small. So maybe somebody here would know who this is. I'm thinking maybe here's a GI Joe or a pilot, whatever the hell they just said it was. I don't think, cause I was like troubled. I was like, wait a minute, Deuce has it. This can't be Deuce has it. I wouldn't see why they would have a Deuce has it guy like that with a flotation vice on. I don't know. Whatever. Probably just remolded shit. Who knows? Alright. So let me see what I'm, I'm going to show you guys next. I'm going to show these because these are going right in the basement. And I don't have to check these in. So for my G.I. Joe lady, she also had these. She had some other stuff that I didn't take because she wanted too much for them. Um, I already have the uh, Copperhead with the water moccasin they changed the name to. I got that at the the show last Saturday. So here you have Marvel Universe um, Captain America. Five bucks on that. Same for Thor. And Bucky. So, whoop. But she gave me everything for $185. So that's these three. And then all these... This G.I. Joe goodness you guys are going to see. Yeah. I'll, I'll have one of them. As a matter of fact, give me one second, y'all. I'm sorry. One second. All right, y'all. I had to pause for a second. As you see, Isaiah picked this up for me and left it there because I think I'm going to put all my 18-inch on my steps. I got rid of all the plushes and put them in bins. Um, I got to put these... Uh, Sectars and bins. The Envisionaries. I might keep the Envisionaries. I haven't decided yet. Um, the Master Universe. I may be keeping them. I I I, I was gonna get rid of them, but then I was like, fuck it. I might just keep them and just put some. I don't know. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave them. I'm gonna put them here somewhere, and then I don't know what I'm gonna do with. I might take this downstairs and put shoes on that, and then I might get a bigger one to put here and put my Hot Toys. Um, uh, Star Wars figures back here. I, I think I'm gonna do that. Um, makes more sense because uh, I can't do nothing with them. They're they're kind of damaged, so I'll just display them. Um, so yeah, let me get to the rest of the GI Joes, and uh, I have to look them up. I had these downstairs. I had these. I got these around, I think m March or April, at like a a church show uh, somewhere where I got a whole bunch of GI Joe stuff. I don't think I um. Because, like, when I was, uh, the other day, as I showed the video, when I was, you know, re, you know, like, basically cleaning up the basement or, or organizing it, because it, it ain't clean. 
Um, I did find these three amongst um, some of the uh, like the regular 25th anniversary figs that I had. And um, surprisingly, I, I didn't get rid of these yet. Thanks, my man. I see how tall this loose shit got. So here you have the Real American Hero Low Light Night Spotter. And then you have Barrel Roll Marksman. And then last but not least, you have here Grand Slam Artillery Guy. So all three of these, I gotta, I gotta um, put in my book. Because my plan was to take all this stuff and kind of put them here. But then I'm like, I'm not gonna have no room anyway. So fuck it, I'll just leave them in their bins. At least I'll have them in my, I'll have in my collection. I, I, I'll figure something out. I was thinking about taking all these and hanging them on the walls downstairs, all up through here. But then I'm like, mm, but then I gotta get rid of my uh, my turtle wall and I gotta do this and that. it doesn't make sense. So, I mean, do I really wanna sacrifice all this other shit I have to bring G.I. Joe's here? I haven't thought about it yet, but maybe, maybe I might. So, yep, and then outside of that, I got this from my boy Kevin's girlfriend because they, um, they do sell outside on Thursdays and Sunday in Columbus, but they have two stores. He basically owns and runs the uh, video um, video nuts um, uh, video game store and the Columbus Mall, and right and right next to him is um, his girlfriend Mulba's, uh toy store. And this has been there for a minute, and um, Mulba was there, and you know the other lady kind of had an attitude. I guess she didn't want to bother Mobo or whatever. So I took, you know, Mobo was there. So she said, she gave it to me for a good price. I'm not going to say what. But I got the uh, the Salvo, David Salvo Hassel. So I got that. I mean, cause the box is, I mean, his card is not like these guys. But I need him in the collection anyway. So I got to write all these in my book. I got to check them all off. So you got that. That's what I got today. Now, from the G.I. Joe lady, again, remember, I paid about $200 for everything. Not the stuff you guys just saw. This is stuff I had I've, I've acquired for a while, and I just told you the the um the Salvo figure I got from Kevin's girlfriend at their video game st at her toy store inside. Um, yeah. So, but the three uh, Marvel Universe figures that Thor, Bucky, and Captain America. She wanted five dollars each on them, which is fair because normally people would ask ten, fifteen. Um. But she jocked that in the price for these two bags of goodies. Now, fam, Eric already saw this. Because um, I was too excited not to show him. And then there's another figure on the side. So, these these bags full of um some decent goodness. So, I, there's a good chance I may almost collect, I mean, um, you know, complete this stuff. Um, so I got all that stuff uh, um, and this. This she wanted $30 by itself. As a matter of fact, I, and I don't like looking prices up in front of her because then I would give her ideas because she's always talking about eBay and this, that, and a third anyway. So I don't want to, I don't, I don't like giving people ideas or, you know, looking people's stuff up because I hate when people look shit up when, when they about to buy it for me. It pisses me off. So I don't, let me see if I can take a picture of it. It says defense mech with leather neck. It's weird. Normally, uh, Marines and machinery don't go good together unless it's a tank. So I think she definitely looked this stuff up because she said she wouldn't do no no better than thirty on this. Wow, they got um. Jungle Joe Strike Hummer. Damn, that shit. There it is. So, wow. So now I see why she was talking about that. So there's two. There's one here for $32.99 sold. And there's another one sold for $53. $11.60 shipping. $10.80 shipping for the $32.99 one. So that explains why she says she wouldn't do no better than 30. So I think what she does is it's her prerogative, but I think what she does 
and she plays dumb, but I think she lists a lot of stuff online first and see what it sells for, and or at least look it up, then bring it out, knowing that I'm going to buy it, because I've been the only buyer of most of her stuff anyway. Only thing I didn't pick up was the G.I. Joe Retaliation figures. You can't, I mean, you couldn't even give her $3 for them to make a profit. Like, you get very few of those that are worth at least 10 or more. But, you know, here you got the uh, defense mech with Leather Neg, Venom versus Vala. Or Vala versus Venom, excuse me. And um, it's funny how they keep changing these figures because this looks nothing like Leather Neg. I mean, how are you going to go from old school Leather Neg that already looks like a, a man that, that way past his, his fucking um, tour of duty to a, a dress blue one where he um, he's a sergeant, obviously, a E7. And then... Um, and then this one here, he looks young. He looks younger. How he how how are they going backwards? Cause look how young he looks. That looks like a young Leatherneck, or maybe that's his son, Leatherneck Junior. I don't. <laughs> it can't be him, cause he already looked old when he was the one that when you saw the uh, the emblem on his chest. Then he looks even older and more distinguished when he uh you know when he got promoted to an E7 to a staff sergeant. And now they got him going back. I mean, he got the right. The, you know, he got the right cover and the right vest on, but, you know, like, where's it, you know, he, you know, well, you can't see the, the tattoo or not, but he looks too young. He looks, he, uh, it's crazy. All right, so we're going to start with these guys. It don't matter where I start. Actually, should I? Should I save the suspense for later? Oh, yeah, I forgot I got these from this one dude, too. This one uh, guy, he, he wanted $2 each for these. Aaron wasn't there today, because I, I know he wasn't, because one, I didn't see him, and two, if he did show up, these would have been gone. This guy had these, uh, are they different ones or the same ones? So he had these, um, these minifigures, like the mystery ones. So I got four of them, four of them was like eight bucks, so he did six on them. I was like, I was just, I was just telling him that, hey, there's four, you know, like you have four of them here, and I wanted to show him that I was taking all four. He's like, oh, well, give me six, and I'm like, okay. I was just trying to show the dude that, hey, I got, I got four of them, because I don't want him to walk, I don't want to walk off for paying, paying for four. They didn't think there was more. I want, you know, I like people to see what I got on me, because I want them to be like, hey, 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 what are you doing? I've had that happen before, and I got really, really upset. At the lady because she really made it seem like if my black ass was trying to steal from her, and ironically it was at that flea market, and she didn't even say sorry. She just said, "Oh, you know, you know, you gotta check everybody because everybody's still." And I said, "Not everybody's a thief unless you're one." And she's like, "Excuse you? Well, it's my stuff. I could check." I said, "Lady, you can give me my fucking money back." So she had no problem giving my, giving me my money back, and she threw the money at me. So I, I I took her her toys and threw the shit up in the air at her spot and walked the fuck off. This is like four years ago. Wait, yeah, no, two thousand one. Cause she was a real bitch. So, I mean, real, real bitch. But anyway, you got one, two, three, four, five, six here. So there's six in my hand here. So we're gonna go through these first six. And these are all uh, Vala versus Venom. And yes, I know I sound hypocritical or, or like a bigot, but I said it before that I decided to to, to start collecting. Um, basically 96 to 05 stuff as well and i still do the 25th 30th and 50th too so you know it is what it is so here you have um uh duke and um venomous maximus then here we got tunnel rat and electric eel then we have wild bill and coil crusher Then we got Scarlet and Switch Gears. Then here we have Cobra Slash and Cobra Slice. And some of these figures are, are shitty, but hey. And then you got Sergeant Stalker and Firefly. See, Stalker looks more distinguished. He looks like an older man. I mean, he was always dark with a mustache anyway, but he does look a little, you know, a little different. I mean, you know, how gung-ho they got him younger. He's, he's going backwards. Again, unless that's his junior. 
Gung Ho Jr. But yeah, that lady, you know, so ever since then, it's like, I mean, she was a piece of work anyway. And when I was walking by, people were like, yeah, that lady's a bitch. And I was like, mm, I, I, I ain't want to get into it. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. So you got another six. So that's 12. All right. So here, all Vala versus Venom again. You have Gung Ho and Grunt, Night Force. So we got Night Force, Gung Ho and Grunt. Then here we got Bomb Strike and Croc Master. I already have Bomb Strike loose. And then you have Shipwreck and Electric Eel. Shipwreck, Shipwreck he must have he must have graduated to like uh, the the SEAL team. Then here we got Gung Ho and Cobra Viper. So they they released Gung Ho a lot in Vala versus Venom line. A lot. Then here we have. Doctor Link Talbot and Cobra Commander. That's a nice. That's actually a nice looking Cobra Commander, and the fact that he actually comes with a hood, like you could change his mask for his hood. That's actually pretty dope. Then last, last but not least for this, you have uh, Cobra Viper and Televiper, which I have this Televiper, but I got him loose. Now I got a complete one, so that's cool. So that's twelve so far. And I think we have another four. Yep, one, two, three, four. So twelve and four is sixteen. So here you got, and these are all on Vala versus Venom again. You got Snake Eyes with Timber and Swamp Rat. Swamp Rat is an expensive one. And then again, another Gung Ho. So you have Gung Ho with Wild Weasel. That Wild Weasel is not bad. You know, Fam Eric likes it. He's like, that shit is dope. I mean, these, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of these Vala vs. Venom, they're shitty looking figures. But whatever. Then here you have Duke and Overkill. And then we have General Abernathy and Overkill. Still missing a lot because they did a lot of these Vala vs. Venom guys. Now for the better shit, we got this set here. We got this set. I don't think I have this set. No, I don't. I don't have this. And I think I'm going to hang this uh, with the two comic ones. I'm going to find somewhere in the room to hang these because these are going to stay up here. So you have this set. Uh, <laughs> Fam, fam Eric, stupid. <laughs> oh man, he said, "Oh shit, you got the Puerto Rican Dominican set." <laughs> I would, I wasn't gonna say nothing, but I had to because it sounds so fucking funny. And it's like whenever I see these figures, I be, I think the same thing. And I'm like, it's just so fucking hilarious. He said, "Yo, you got the, you got the Puerto Rican Dominican uh, set because they, they do look, they do, they look like they came from different nationalities. Like he looks like he comes from like." Uh, where um, Carnilla comes from, that part of Mexico. This one looks like his name is Juan, like he Puerto Rican. This one here looks like he is Dominican. And then this one here looks like he's from fucking Panama. And this one here looks like he's from like Venezuela somewhere and just dyed his hair. And then this one looks like he come from Mexico. So, oh my God, uh, it's like the international Hispanic... Uh, uh, G.I. Joe versus uh, Vala versus Venom guys Yo Joe Yo No yo No Joe Joe yo That's how he was hit Oh it's funny So you got the Infantry Division Marksman Specialist Infantry Division Communication Specialist Infantry I mean um, uh, um, Infantry Division Vehicle Specialist Infantry Division Counter Intelligence Specialist Infantry Division Infantry specialist. Don't they already got how many fucking inf infantry? Okay, that's just one. And then you have infantry division heavy weapon specialist. So these guys are specialists in everything, but these are just like basic GI Joe guy, oh uh, like troopers basically, glorified troopers. Like they don't even got fucking names, do they? 
Nope. You, uh, you you make their own. They so garbage. You you make it. You make their own name. Yeah, these are all recruits. So you can just put whatever name you want to put. So you got Javier Santos, Hector, Antonio. <laughs> I'm fucked up. Enrique and Jesus. <laughs> That's racist. No, it's not really racist. So these are all Valor versus Venom. And then the last two, which is the dopest of all. I don't even know how much these things go for, but these are pretty dope. So this one here, um, and it says Storm Shadow Unmasked Special Offer. So I guess that's like a special offer for them. So you got Storm Shadow, Snake Eyes, and Red Ninja Viper. So, you got the three of these guys here. These are pretty badass. And I like how they made, they just added some color depth to the original Snake Eyes and then Storm Shadow, they just, that's a pretty dope one. And then you got Ninja Viper. Only a ninja can kill a ninja show. And then here you have Scrap Iron. I don't know. He I don't think he comes with uh, his craziness. Then you got Serpentor and Firefly. It's kind of weird that they would put Firefly and Scrap Iron in here with Serpentor. That is a little bugged out, considering the fucking simple fact that I, I mean, you know, Firefly's a, a merc. You know, he's almost like the Dreadnoughts, just a little bit, a little bit grimier, and Scrap Iron almost the same, like. I, I could see them rocking more with Cobra Commander than than Serpentor. I mean, that's a little, little weird, but whatever, man. To each his own, right? So yeah, um, so you got all that stuff there. So that's basically my day, and I'm actually under an hour. Holy shit! I can't believe it. So yep. Yeah, so that's everything. So I gotta look at my book, check all this shit off, and then put everything downstairs with the other stuff. Um. So yeah, that's all of it. All right. So anyway, man, thanks for watching. Catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out.